Number 1. Mosquitoes. A mosquito is any member of a group of about 3,500 species of small insects belonging to the order Diptera flies. Within Diptera, mosquitoes constitute the family Culicidae, from the Latin culex meaning, gnat. The word, mosquito, formed by mosca and diminutive ito, is Spanish and Portuguese for, little fly. Mosquitoes have a slender segmented body, one pair of wings, one pair of haltiers, three pairs of long hair-like legs, and elongated mouth parts. Among humans, the feeding preferences of mosquitoes typically include, those with type O blood, heavy breathers, an abundance of skin bacteria, high body heat, and pregnant women. Individuals' attractiveness to mosquitoes also has a heritable, genetically controlled component. The mosquito's saliva is transferred to the host during the bite, and can cause an itchy rash. A mosquito bite often leaves an itchy wheel, a raised bump, on the victim's skin, which is caused by histamines trying to fight off the protein left by the attacking insect. Number 2. Snakes. Snakes are elongated, limbless, carnivorous reptiles of the suborder Serpentes. Like all other squamates, snakes are ectothermic, amniote vertebrates covered in overlapping scales. Many species of snakes have skulls with several more joints than their lizard ancestors, enabling them to swallow prey much larger than their heads with their highly mobile jaws. To accommodate their narrow bodies, snakes' paired organs, such as kidneys, appear one in front of the other instead of side by side, and most have only one functional lung. Some species retain a pelvic girdle with a pair of vestigial claws on either side of the cloaca. Lizards have evolved elongate bodies without limbs or with greatly reduced limbs about 25 times independently via convergent evolution, leading to many lineages of legless lizards. These resemble snakes, but several common groups of legless lizards have eyelids and external ears, which snakes lack, although this rule is not universal, see Amphisbania, Dibamidae, and Pygopididae. Living snakes are found on every continent except Antarctica, and on most smaller land masses, exceptions include some large islands, such as Ireland, Iceland, Greenland, the Hawaiian Archipelago, and the islands of New Zealand, as well as many small islands of the Atlantic and Central Pacific Oceans. Additionally, sea snakes are widespread throughout the Indian and Pacific Ocean. All snakes are strictly carnivorous, preying on small animals including lizards, frogs, other snakes, small mammals, birds, eggs, fish, snails, worms, and insects. Snakes cannot bite or tear their food to pieces so must swallow their prey whole. 
The eating habits of a snake are largely influenced by body size, smaller snakes eat smaller prey. Juvenile pythons might start out feeding on lizards or mice and graduate to small deer or antelope as an adult, for example. Snakes has killed more than 700,000 of people per year, according to the study. Number 3. Dogs. The domestic dog, Canis familiaris or Canis lupus familiaris is a domesticated form of wolf. The dog descended from an ancient, extinct wolf, with the modern gray wolf being the dog's nearest living relative. The dog was the first species to be domesticated by hunter-gatherers over 15,000 years ago, before the development of agriculture. Their long association with humans has led dogs to be uniquely attuned to human behavior, enabling an abundant cosmopolitan distribution and the ability to thrive on a starch-rich diet that would be inadequate for other canids. Number 4. CC fly, sometimes spelled zets and also known as tick tick flies, are large biting flies that inhabit much of tropical Africa. CC flies include all the species in the genus Glossina, which are placed in their own family, Glossinidae. The CC are obligate parasites that live by feeding on the blood of vertebrate animals. CC have been extensively studied because of their role in transmitting disease. They have a prominent economic impact in sub-Saharan Africa as the biological vectors of trypanosomes, which cause human sleeping sickness and animal trypanosomiasis. CC are multivoltine and long-lived, typically producing about 4 broods per year, and up to 31 broods over their lifespans. Fossilized CC have been recovered from fluorescent fossil beds in Colorado, laid down some 34 million years ago. 23 extant species of CC flies are known from Africa. CC in sleeping sickness soon colonized the whole region, effectively excluding the reintroduction of farming and animal husbandry. Sleeping sickness has been described by some conservationists as the best game warden in Africa. CC flies do not kill humans directly. Rather, they are a vector that transmits sleeping sickness. Number 5. Reduviidae. The Reduviidae are a large cosmopolitan family of the order Hemiptera, true bugs. Among the Hemiptera and together with the Nabidae almost all species are terrestrial ambush predators, most other predatory Hemiptera are aquatic. The main examples of non-predatory Reduviidae are some blood-sucking ectoparasites and subfamily Triatominae. Though spectacular exceptions are known, most members of the family are fairly easily recognizable, they have a relatively narrow neck, sturdy build, and formidable curved proboscis, sometimes called a rostrum. Large specimens should be handled with caution, if at all, because they sometimes defend themselves with a very painful stab from the proboscis. Some species are bloodsuckers rather than predators, and they are accordingly far less welcome to humans. Triatoma species and other members of the subfamily Triatominae, such as Rodneus species, Panstrongolus megistus, and Paratriatoma hirsuta, are known as kissing bugs, because they tend to bite sleeping humans in the soft tissue around the lips and eyes. A more serious problem than their bites is the fact that several of these Hematophagus central and South American species transmit the potentially fatal Trypanosomal Chagas disease, sometimes called American Trypanosomiasis. It results in the death of 12,000 people a year. Number 6. Freshwater snail. Freshwater snails are gastropod mollusks which live in fresh water. There are many different families. They are found throughout the world in various habitats, ranging from ephemeral pools to the largest lakes, and from small seeps and springs to major rivers. The great majority of freshwater gastropods have a shell, with very few exceptions. Some groups of snails that live in freshwater respire using gills, whereas other groups need to reach the surface to breathe air. 
In addition, some are amphibious and have both gills and a lung, e.g. Ampullariidae. Most feed on algae, but many are detritivores and some are filter feeders. According to a 2008 review of the taxonomy, there are about 4,000 species of freshwater gastropods, 3,795-3,972. At least 33 to 38 independent lineages of gastropods have successfully colonized freshwater environments. It is not possible to quantify the exact number of these lineages yet because they have yet to be clarified within the Cerithioidea. From 6 to 8 of these independent lineages occur in North America. Freshwater snails has killed over 10,000 people per year. Freshwater snails do not kill humans directly. Rather, they are a vector that transmits a variety of tropical diseases. Number 8. Ascaris. Ascaris is a genus of parasitic nematode worms known as the small intestinal roundworms, which is a type of parasitic worm. One species, Ascaris lumbricoides, affects humans and causes the disease Ascariasis. Another species, Ascaris suum, typically infects pigs. Parascaris equorum, the equine roundworm, is also commonly called an Ascarid. Their eggs are deposited in feces and soil. Plants with the eggs on them infect any organism that consumes them. A. Lumbricoides is the largest intestinal roundworm and is the most common helminth infection of humans worldwide. Infestation can cause morbidity by compromising nutritional status, affecting cognitive processes, inducing tissue reactions such as granuloma to larval stages, and by causing intestinal obstruction, which can be fatal. More than 2,000 people are killed by roundworm. Number 9. Tapeworms. Eusistota, commonly referred to as tapeworms, are the larger of the two subclasses of flatworms in the class Cystota, the other subclass is Cestodaria. Larvae have six posterior hooks on the scolex, head, in contrast to the ten-hooked Cestodaria. All tapeworms are endoparasites of vertebrates, living in the digestive tract or related ducts. Examples are the pork tapeworm, Tinea solium, with a human definitive host, and pigs as the secondary host, and Monizia expansa, the definitive hosts of which are ruminants. Adult Eusistota have a white opaque dorso-ventrally flattened appearance, and are elongated, ranging in length from a few m to 25 meters. Almost all members, except members of the orders Caryophilidae and Spathibothriidae, are polyzoic with repeated sets of reproductive organs down the body length, and almost all members, except members of the order Dioecochestidae, are protandral hermaphrodites. Most except Caryophilidines consist of a few to 4,000 proglottids, segments, that show a characteristic body differentiation pattern into scolex, head, neck, and strobola. About 2,000 people are killed by tapeworms per year.